Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Hollow Earth One of the biggest mysteries in human history is whether the Earth is hollow or not. The idea may sound completely absurd today, but that wasn't always the case. If you lived in the 17th century, the leading scientific minds would have told you that beneath the surface is another world of beasts and monsters. If you go even further back to the ancient Greeks, they believed that under the ground was a land of the dead called Hades, where human souls went to rest. At least that's what the myths say. However, in the 17th century, the hollow earth was a real theory endorsed by some of the finest scientists. The man who really got the ball rolling was famous thinker Edmund Halley. In 1692, he theorized that the Earth is not a solid ball of matter, but made up of spherical shells spinning in different directions. He claimed that in the center of the world is a core, but the Earth itself is made up of various layers. Each layer contains its own unique ecosystem, with animals, plant life, and an atmosphere. He believed the atmosphere in each layer is luminous enough to support life, even without light from the sun. This theory continued to be endorsed throughout the 18th and 19th centuries by scientists like Leonard Euler and Sir John Leslie. In 1818, John Cleve Sims Jr. even tried to carry out an expedition to the North Pole, where he believed a large hole would allow him access into the inner Earth. He was even prepared to meet a different breed of human down there. But in the end, he never found the doorway he was looking for. Number 9. The Dogon Tribe Nobody has ever been able to figure out how the Dogon Tribe had such a wildly advanced knowledge of astronomy. This ancient tribe, which may have originated in the Egyptian desert, became famous in the 1930s when French anthropologists lived with and studied them. They currently inhabit the country of Mali in West Africa, and there are fewer than one million of them left. The craziest thing about the Dogon is that for centuries they've been practicing traditional ceremonies involving the star called Sirius B. This star travels around Sirius A every 50 years in an elliptical pattern. The reason it's so strange is that Western astronomers didn't know about Sirius A and Sirius B until very recently, in 1970. Yet the Dogon tribe knew about these stars thousands of years ago, even centering their traditions around them. This wasn't the only thing the Dogon knew long before modern scientists. They somehow knew that Saturn has four moons, even though these moons can only be seen with the most powerful modern telescopes. In 1939, tribal elders told their French visitors that their astronomical knowledge came from mysterious creatures. These alleged creatures, which the Dogon called Nomos, came to Earth from Sirius B thousands of years ago. And this is why the Dogon continue to revere the star, even to this very day. Number 8. Homo Capensis Homo Capensis is a theoretical hominid that lived across the globe until very recently. Researcher Dr. Edward Spencer is a big supporter of the theory. He believes that hominids with elongated skulls evolved thousands of years ago to have extremely large brains. These mysterious people have lived among us for millennia and are still alive right now. They're supposedly hidden in the Vatican, stashed away where no one can see them and it's all because they share blood with aliens. Spencer goes so far as to say that these half-human, big-headed hybrids have been controlling the world since ancient times. It's an outrageous claim, but not one without merit. There have been plenty of human skeletons with elongated heads discovered all over the globe, but archaeologists and historians have dismissed them as belonging to people who practiced cranial deformation. This was the art of squishing an infant's head with cloth or wooden boards so that the skull grows upward like a misshapen light bulb. These elongated skulls have been found everywhere, from South Africa to Russia. Cranial deformation has been happening for at least 10,000 years. But according to Dr. Edward Spencer and those who share his ideas, it's all a lie. They believe there's a distinctly different species of human with an elongated skull. After all, the Neanderthal was a larger and stronger type of human. But for now, Homo capensis is just an unsolved mystery or just a crazy fun theory. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. The 1897 Aurora Incident 
On April 17, 1897, a UFO crashed into a windmill in Texas near the town of Aurora. The mystery ship crashed on a farm, resulting in the alien pilot's death. The pilot was then allegedly buried in the Aurora Cemetery, where their corpse remains to this very day. On April 19, the Dallas Morning News published an article describing the crash that happened two days earlier. Multiple eyewitnesses claimed that they saw an airship appear suddenly in the sky over Aurora at about 6 in the morning. The ship was flying low and collided with the farmer's windmill, and pieces of it scattered over the fields like debris from an explosion. The pilot of the strange vessel was examined by a man named T.J. Weems from Fort Worth, who claimed the being was not from our world. According to Mr. Weems, the creature was a native of the planet Mars. It was also said that the fragments of the ship had hieroglyphics on them, similar to those found in Egyptian tombs. These days, there is a Texas Historical Commission marker at the Aurora Cemetery describing the incident. It was real enough to the people of Aurora that they have an official plaque dedicated to the UFO crash. Some say the alien is in an unmarked grave somewhere in the cemetery, while others say it's nothing but an urban legend. Number 6. The Hollow Moon Many people believe that if the Earth could be hollow, so could the Moon. The idea started with scientific experiments conducted by NASA in 1969. During the Apollo 12 moon mission, astronauts Pete Conrad and Alan Bean set up a Passive Seismic Experiment, or PSE. The test was designed to create a moonquake which would allow researchers to better understand the moon. The test triggered an explosion equivalent to roughly one ton of TNT. This created a moonquake, which the PSE seismometers were able to record. The instruments documented vibrations that lasted longer and were much more intense than scientists had predicted. On the following Apollo moon missions, the same experiment yielded similar results. The findings showed that the moon appeared to only be about 60% as dense as the Earth, suggesting the moon itself is completely hollow. While some believe the moon is a hollow rock with unknown mysteries inside, NASA says that isn't the case at all. They say the reason for the results of their testing is the composition of the moon itself. NASA researchers explain that because the moon is dry and more rigid than Earth, it makes sense that quakes last longer. They say the moon has a core and isn't hollow at all. But of course, not everyone is convinced. Number 5. Lake Michigan UFO On a cloudless night in 1994, multiple unidentified flying objects were witnessed above Lake Michigan. According to the dozens of people who witnessed the unusual phenomenon, it was entirely unexplainable. But what's even more shocking is that the UFOs that appeared 30 years ago aren't the only strange and unexplained things that have happened in the area. On March 8, 1994, dozens of people witnessed strange lights over Lake Michigan. It was such a big event that the police were flooded with calls from concerned citizens. Some people thought the nation was under attack. One caller even described the flying objects as a string of Christmas lights cruising across the sky. Jack Bushong was a meteorologist with the National Weather Service at the time, and he was there that night when he saw something he couldn't possibly explain. Even commercial pilots flying nearby reported seeing the lights, although most have kept quiet out of fear of being ridiculed. Whether or not the pilots admit to what they saw, something strange definitely happened that night in the skies over the lake. It looked like an entire fleet of curious alien visitors. But weird things have been going on around Lake Michigan ever since the 19th century. Ships have vanished in the lake never to be found. In 1891, the schooner Thomas Hume disappeared without a trace and was never seen again. The same thing happened to the Rosa Bell in 1921, with all 11 people on board going missing. To this day, we don't know what it is about Lake Michigan that attracts such strange and unusual events. We don't know where the ships are that have vanished, and no explanation for the lights in the sky has ever been given. Have you ever had a personal encounter with a UFO? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 4. Crop Circles Crop circles began to pop up in the 1970s. 
making them one of the more recent unsolved mysteries of our time. It was a big deal in the 70s and caused mass hysteria, renewing interest in extraterrestrial visitors. Crop circles appeared across the world for the next few decades, with many believing they were left behind as messages from aliens in the night. And although a lot of people came forward to admit they had made the crop circles as a prank, not all of these circles have been explained. In the summer of 2009, a very peculiar crop circle appeared in a field below the Torre Chiara Castle in Parma, Italy. In the community of Hensal, Canada, a crop circle showed up in 2003 and was never explained. The Triskelion disc is one of the more mysterious ones, appearing in 2001 in the remote English countryside. This crop circle was positively massive, measuring over 780 feet in diameter. It was made up of 409 circles, forming an extraordinarily complex geometrical pattern of three interlocking spirals. Another crop circle appeared in southern Bavaria, Germany in August of 2006. Then, more curious patterns appeared in North Yorkshire in 2010. Mysterious golden globes and astronomical symbols appeared in a wheat field in Switzerland in 2007. A tentacle-shaped crop circle even showed up in Switzerland in 2008. For some strange reason, the phenomenon stopped almost completely by 2010. Number 3. Long Meg and Her Daughters there is a mysterious Neolithic stone circle in Northwest England most people have never heard of before. It's called Long Meg and Her Daughters, and some would argue it's even stranger than Stonehenge itself. It was likely constructed over 3,000 years ago in the Neolithic age, although exact dating has been difficult. The circle consists of 59 gigantic stones, but there may have originally been as many as 70. The biggest stone is called Long Meg, and it stands a whopping 12 feet tall. The rest of the stones are her daughters, spread in a great ring that's 340 feet in diameter. At the moment, scientists don't know a whole lot about the stone circle. It was built by an unknown ancient civilization for unknown purposes, but it's the folklore surrounding the stones that really makes this a big mystery. According to local legends, these stones were once real humans. They were women involved in witchcraft, each of them turned to stone by a Scottish wizard named Michael Scott. The wizard stumbled upon the coven and used his knowledge of sorcery to turn them to stone, and they've been standing there ever since. Locals say these stones can't be counted twice, and that if you try, you'll come up with a different number every time. It's also said that if you put your ear against the stone called Long Meg, you can hear her whispering. It does sound like a silly legend, but it has its roots in reality. In the 17th century, there was a local witch named Meg of Meldon. And interestingly, from a certain angle, Long Meg kind of looks like her. Number 2. What Happened to Amelia Earhart? One of the greatest historical mysteries out there is the disappearance of Amelia Earhart. She vanished during her flight around the world in 1937. Her remains have never been found and her disappearance has been the source of many controversial theories over the years. But just recently, a team of researchers from Penn State University believe they may have found a clue. They discovered letters on a metal plate that washed ashore on the remote island of Nikumaroro in 1991. This supports the theory that Amelia Earhart made an emergency landing on a remote atoll in the Pacific Ocean. She then died from the elements when nobody came to rescue her. After the mysterious panel was found in 1991, scientists tried to match it with the airplane Amelia went missing in. However, it wasn't a precise match. But now that researchers uncovered the numbers on the panel, they believe they might be able to figure out where the piece of metal came from. It could be that it was fitted as a repair during her flight. Then when she crashed, the repair panel broke off and later washed up on the shore. Unfortunately, we still don't know what happened to Amelia Earhart. She may have died on a deserted island, or was maybe captured. Number 1. The Archaeologist's Disappearance In 1933, archaeologist Arthur Kingsley Porter vanished without a trace. Arthur was investigating the remote island of Inishbofin, located off the Atlantic coast of Ireland, when he disappeared into thin air. 
An investigation into his disappearance concluded that the Harvard academic likely fell off a cliff and was washed away. However, the locals believe something else happened to the archaeologist. They claimed that Arthur didn't die, but faked his own death in order to start a new life. It's one of the most bizarre archaeological mysteries that doesn't even have anything to do with archaeology. Arthur's story involves romantic scandal, the Great Depression, and the curse of a medieval tomb. Arthur Porter was a wealthy man who owned his own castle. He had a huge estate on the Irish mainland and was head of Harvard's art history department. However, he was also secretly cheating on his wife with a man named Alan Campbell. When Harvard found out about the affair, his career was ruined. Also, the Great Depression was destroying his fortune. Those close to him believe Arthur faked his own death so that he could run away with his secret lover and start a new life. But there's another, much more unusual theory. In 1926, Arthur Porter was involved in the removal of a sarcophagus from the Spanish tomb of Alfonso Ansures, who died in the 11th century. Apparently, the tomb of Alfonso was said to be cursed. There are those who think that Arthur suffered an unexpected death for his role in disturbing the dead man's final resting place. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and join us for more archaeological mysteries. See you next time. Bye.